Hey guys, Moran Pobert here with another video. And this video is, I'm going to show you how to buy businesses for just one time multiples. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. So if you want to learn more about that, subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know what you uh, like about this channel or hate or hate about me or like about me. Let me know in the comments below. I like, I like to get your comments, guys. It's, it's awesome. And as you can see, I'm trying to upload as many videos as I can. So I need, I need help for topics. So see in the description below, there's a survey where you can put your personal details and then let me know what's your biggest question. Or there are a few questions when I walk you through and just, I want to get to know you a little bit. I want to understand where you at exactly in your path. And then you can put in your biggest question and I will literally create personalized video for you. So make sure you put your details in the, in the description below and fill the survey and also join our free business buying mastermind on facebook and uh, do it if you didn't yet i think it's I'm, I'm going to post there some original content and just you have an opportunity to be around people who are on the same path same journey and i think it's awesome that you can be involved in something like that so do it right now if you if you didn't yet so let's start with today's topic. So as, as you know, if you watch some of my other videos, you know that we look at businesses, we usually pay anywhere between three to five or six times multiples on their EBITDA. So I guess the next question is, how, are you, how can you pay one time multiples for a business? Um, if we said in other videos that we pay in anywhere between three to five or six, right? So let's expand on that a little bit. So the way we do that is, first of all, to begin with, in, in general, when you buy businesses, it's very rare that 100% of the total value of the, of the acquisition is going to be paid at closing. Many times a large chunk or at least a nice amount of percentage is going to be paid over time what, in what we call a seller financing. So that's how we start this conversation. So that means that if we buy a business, for example, for three times multiples of their EBITDA, we many times all we need is to pay one times EBITDA at completion at closing and i remember when i heard it for the first time i, I thought it's a life-changing like literally when you see a business where let's say you need to pay 100,000, uh, sorry one million dollar for the business and you know that you only need to pay 300 300 333 right at closing um, I mean, that, that's, that's going to make life much easier when you know you only need to be in around 33% at completion and the rest of it you can be, you can structure it where it's going to be paid over a few years using the business cash flow to basically cover those payments to the seller, right? So your only goal is basically to get to that number at completion and to get to a point where you can raise that capital or to bring it from home or whatever you prefer. So, and if you watch my other, other videos, you know, you can bring that capital from either yourself or you can bring it from other individuals or you can bring it from financial institutions and leverage the business assets to do that. So, uh, and obviously the deferred payments, the seller finance, and you wanna make sure that the business cash flow cover the, that, that service. Now, what you see in, in different deals is that the more a potential buyer is willing to pay cash at closing, the less multiples you'll need to pay overall. And the reason for that is just, first of all, it's less risky for the seller uh, because you won't know what's going to happen with the future payments. You need some kind of guarantees for that. Um, and when you get 100% closing, he might willing to give you some kind of a discount. Um, and, and yeah, it's just uh, easier, uh, I guess, cash now. The second thing is just that cash now worth much more than cash in the future. So that's why when you start your negotiation with a deal, um, to have some kind of a baseline for a multiples that you're gonna use is a great start to your negotiation. But then in the end of the day, it's going to be different based on how much you're willing to pay at closing versus how much you're willing to defer it over a period of time. So, but it, it's always good to have some kind of a multiples to work with and then to work and change based on the deferred consideration that's gonna be in the deal or basically on what the seller is willing to finance. And if you're not sure what to offer, um, what you can say when you're talking to business owners, just tell them, hey, look, um, we're looking to buy businesses. Usually we, we offer anywhere between three to five times multiples of EBITDA. And that uh, just depends on the terms and the structure of the deal. And start your negotiation from there and just figure out what's the expectations from the owner. And just whenever you say that, it's also a good, another good way to screen if the business owner is serious to sell. Because when you say that and he's basically not offended from that, then you can understand he's in the, you're in the ballpark and you can start your work towards that, that deal. Now, there's a lot we can expand on the seller financing side of things because there are ways for you to guarantee those payments better than, than other ways. And that's how you can negotiate your way 
to do more seller financing. So for example, if you have the right guarantees for those seller financing payments, you can basically negotiate a deal where you pay more over a period of time versus less at closing, which means you'll need to raise less capital um, uh, at completion or just bring less capital from home. Um, I, I guess we can talk about that in future videos, but for now, just understand that, yeah, you want to pay something at closing, something on deferred, and that's how you pay a very, uh, I guess, small amount at closing. And that's, I guess, the title of the, the video is to, to get you excited about the fact that you don't need, if you pay in five times multiples EBITDA on a business, you don't need to pay five times uh, at, at one time in, in cash. Usually if you pay 100% cash, you can get much better deals and pay them at completion. So it's up to you if you if you have a lot of cash to play with right now, that might be a better option for you to just pay 100% at closing and have nothing deferred and also don't have any debt on your balance sheet when you move forward. But if you don't have much capital to work with, uh, then all you need many times is just one times EBITDA at closing. You need to raise that capital and the rest of it can be structured over a few years. Obviously, you need to know how to negotiate those seller financing payments. Uh, but that's, I think, at least when I heard it for the first time, I thought it's exciting understanding, hey, I can buy a business, but I don't really need to pay 100% of the business value at completion. I can pay literally a, a large chunk of the amount over a period of time and I can have it so the business will pay for it. So I hope it makes you excited as, as, it, as it made me excited in the past. Um, I think that's probably one of the first concepts that opened my eyes to what's possible in the space of leverage buyout. And then when you understand, hey, I can actually use the business assets as a leverage to pay for the down payment. I mean, that's that, that's mind blowing. I think it's, it's amazing. And that's what makes this world of buying businesses just so cool. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this short video. Remember, see in the description below, um, get in touch, basically, yeah, fill the survey, put your details and let me know what's the biggest uh, topic that you want me to talk about. I'll create personalized video for you guys and join the Facebook group if you didn't yet. It's all in the description below. Comment below, like, share with your friends and help me grow the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I know many of you really, really, really like the content. So yeah, even if you talk to me in the past, I'd like to hear what you learned from those videos. Even comment below, maybe just on the main things you learned from this video. I'd love to hear and see you engage and, and just see that you're part of the process. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.